Welcome to Adventures by D. Today we're at Zoo Atlanta and we came here for one specific reason and it is Gorilla Egg Hunting Day. So they actually put out some jello eggs for the gorillas and they're going to go Easter egg hunting and we had to come see it. So that's why we're here Dave, but what else are we gonna see while we're here? We're gonna see elephants, flamingos, monkeys, all kinds of big cats. The zoo has it all. Join us on this gorilla Easter egg hunting adventure. So the zoo now has this memory pass where there are three locations that you can get your picture. So we have entered, took our flamingo picture, and now we're going to head towards all of the rhinos, their new elephant exhibit, the warthogs, the snakes, and what we're really here for today is the gorillas, because they're going to do an Easter egg hunt. There's so much to see here. We have a few videos on Zoo Atlanta, if you want to check those out. We've covered the pandas, we covered the new elephant exhibit. Did you say warthog? If I was a young... Warthog! Yes. We're heading to the African savanna. reaching in there. Can you see that? Getting some food out. Look at that. You can see where it's reaching in here. Here she's a herbivore. They live in grasslands, forests, woodlands, or deserts. Here's another one of the African elephants that was in the back but came up. Has some sticks. Just chewing on the sticks there. Oh, it just crunched it. Could you hear that? Oh. We got the meerkats. They just came out. Look, one's coming out. It always strikes me just how tall the giraffes are when you get closer to them here. There's some zebras close too, which is a rare sight. Now the zebra is white with black stripes. They're like black with white stripes. What do you think? We've made it to Habitat 4 for the gorillas, Kadigo. So Willie B. Jr. is here, Canberra, Shalia, and Amari. So the youngest, it was born in 2010, the oldest born 1998. Now we have to go to Gorilla Habitat 3 for the Easter egg hunt, but let's see here. There is one out. This is the Western Lowland Gorilla. Lowland, I guess I should say. Can you see it right there? Oh wait, there's one up on the hill. Oh wait, there's three. So there's one at the log here. Hold on, let me put my phone up. There's one up high right there. And then there's one on the hill right there. There's three of them. Can you see them? You see the three I can see? Do you see them, Dave? Yeah. Oh wait, there's four. And there's one over here too. They're all occupied. Yep. So there's four. So now we found all four in this one. This is habitat three. This is where the Easter egg hunt will be at noon. So they're not out right now because I bet they're gonna be planting the eggs soon. It would be cool to film them putting the eggs up. Wouldn't it, Dave? So this is the calm before everything. So it says Habitat 2 has Coochie and Machi. And you can see one of them right there. Let's see here. Kuchi was born in 1984, Machi born 1976. Wait, but there's three in here. So hold on. There's one on the hammock, and there's one on the back he was playing with the branch. He has his tongue sticking out. Do you see it? Look at that. He's going over. He's checking to see what's in there. He's got his tongue sticking out. 
So one of these guys is an old guy. The older ones have the silver backs. Their backs really turn gray. He's looking in there, seeing if there's some food in the tube. So this is Gorilla Habitat 2. I got two out. See him, this other one, he's on the hammock. Whoa, I didn't see up here. This has got to be Gorilla Habitat 1. But here's one right up front. They have them separated by different lands so the males don't compete. All right, here they come out, getting ready to place the Easter eggs. Look at all that. What's in there? Oh, they have like, oh my gosh, are they making an Easter basket? Look it. Oh my gosh. Here go all the zookeepers heading back. Oh, is he? <laughs> They're running in. They're running in. Look at them. Look at them. This is amazing. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, they know. Look at the little one. Oh, look at the tiny baby. Oh, he found one. Oh look, he's collecting them. He's like, I got oh a Oh my gosh. I
my gosh, he has so many in his hands. Look at that. <laughs> Does he have a bucket he's carrying everything with? Look at that, look how many. And this one's got, this one's got the egg right there. Trying to find something to smash it on. Oh, it's definitely more of a human slamming one on the rock over there. Okay. You know what he does? Slamming the ice. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, they're staring. This is like, look, look, like Hershey just staring at you while you eat. Yeah. Just breaking everything apart. Yeah. They know what to do, man. They know what's what. We should give them coconuts and let them break it apart for us. <laughs> oh, look at that. Oh, wow, look at that. Wait. You didn't realize this. Oh, my God. He just got it in one swing, man. That was awesome. <laughs> look at that one. He has a little piece of ice in his hand, the little baby. Do you see it? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. <laughs> He's looking through the hay, saying, like, is there anything in there? That would have been smart to, like, bury, like, put him inside the middle. It's like, no. Okay. I wonder how good their sense of smell is. Yeah. Like, if they can tell. Here's information on Willie B, who lived 1958 to 2000. Really, he's the icon here for Zoo Atlanta and all the conservation efforts around the gorillas, I think, are as a result of him. And then his heritage is still here with all of his uh, family, his descendants. So this is the Willie B conservation building, but this is where you also, you can learn all about gorillas. But this is, there's a viewing area that's low. So we wanted to be outside for the gorilla um, egg hunt. But if you'd been in here, you get a good feel for the view. And they came all up on the window and everything. So you can see that view from down here. Oh, there's still some eggs. Hey Dave, there's still eggs. So there's still eggs right there. Oh, here comes one. It's picking up all the eggs. But there's still some. There's a few right there. I wonder if he's going to grab the eggs. He's not. He does have one in his hand. Look at this, look at this side of the habitat. If only we'd known I might have stayed over here, right? No, you can't really see the big tree from here. Yeah. Look at that. Well, hello. We're heading to the scaly, slimy, spectacular amphibian experience. This must be, it says they have a green 
and black poison dart frog, a red-eyed leaf frog, and a strawberry poison frog. We're going to try to find the strawberry one. Never heard of that. And here's another green one. You guys let me know if you see it. I don't see the strawberry one yet. Oh, they found it, right? There. It's so little. It's littler than the poison dart frog. Holy cow. Wow. Dave noticed this. I hadn't been noticing these signs. Are they everywhere? Yeah. So it's kind of like a interactive a map. Tour, interactive map that you don't have to. That's included. Look at this boa constrictor. Holy cow! Look at that. Favorite thing in here: Lake Titicaca frog, hands down. You see him? There's one right up front too. Do you see it, Dave? There's at least three. There's one, two, three, four, five in here. So they absorb oxygen to their skin. Wow. Wait, there's six because there's one in the back too. So amazing. Favorite thing in here. Because I don't know if I've ever seen this anywhere else. I don't think they come to, to surface up here. Here we go. Look at that. If you're outside, you can hear that bamboo breaking. You can hear it. There's a bunch of kids around here playing peekaboo and hide and go seek with each other. If you hear stuff in the background. Look at that. It looked like me and my fiber cereal this morning. Oh yeah. They have a whole pavilion-like entrance to the pandas. It's really nice. Down here toward the bottom of the zoo, if you will. That's just where we came from. We walked that way towards the pandas. Then we have bathrooms, and then we have the Nourish Cafe. Probably the main eatery here. They also have a food truck with breaded chicken tenders. And then you go back to over here towards the petting zoo and the train. So over here we're in the contact yard, the petting zoo, where all the magic happens for the little kids. So here you can go in with the goats. Feed them. Uh-oh, they're loose. Over here it's a kind of a mock-up of the Okefenokee Swamp, the wetlands here in this state. So we've got turtles and turtles and... Splash Mountain? No, it's Splash Fountain. So I've not seen this before. It's a splash pad here at the zoo. It's not quite hot enough here to take advantage of it, but oh, come the summertime, there'll be kids rolling around in this stuff. So you saw the train earlier, they also have a carousel here. So here's some of the prices for the attractions. Oh, 
And then right next to the ticket booth is where the carousel is right here. You see kids getting on and off over there. Then over here is where you board the train. So those are the two main rides, the train and the carousel. Here's the train depot and right next to it here is the carousel. It's a nice guy's carousel too, especially for a zoo. Not quite as big as the one at uh, Six Flags, but still pretty good size. Certainly uh, big enough to have fun on. Dave, what a great day at the zoo. I have truly never seen anything like gorillas running down the hill after those eggs filled with jello and other gorilla goodies. That was worth the price of admission today. It was, it was so fun. And some of them would hoard a bunch and not eat them and then wait to eat them. Others would just stop and eat them. Uh, they had frozen things that the gorillas knew to smack, to break, to get inside of, to get the fruit and frozen juice out of. It was, it was great, it was great. They had nests, uh, colored hay set up. Nice day, cool, overcast, the rain had cleared out. Any day is a good day here at the zoo though. I hadn't been here since uh, pre-COVID and they have a much better elephant exhibit now. They have an updated uh, giraffe and zebra exhibit, a new rep newer reptile house, all good stuff. Yeah, we saw tons of animals. A lot of them are active today. Of course, the pandas are always here. They're kind of the star of the show. You can't see pandas everywhere. We're lucky we're one of the few zoos that have pandas. So with that, please like this video and subscribe to our channel. We cover all sorts of things in Atlanta and we do a ton of theme parks, family friendly type adventures. Zoo Atlanta is one of them and we have a few videos already and we go to other zoos and aquariums. So if you're interested in the animals, we have a playlist just for that. And Dave, what do you want to say? I want to say may the, may the adventures, adventures be with you. you. Thank you for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and ringing a bell so you'll be notified of our next upload. And as always, may the adventures be with you.